Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I don't know if you saw one of my last videos about the concept of me building a Lego sorter, an automatic Lego sorter. Oh, it's going to sort the bricks into five different categories, and this is the first stage of it. After doing some planning out, I'm going to have two sorters on an angle. So the two sorters are going to be on the angle. Then they're going to have little feed shoots that drop the, drop the pieces onto them. And then they, that's going to be connected up to one big feed chute with a tub in the middle. So this is all going to be on one table. The whole thing's going to vibrate because of one vibrating motor that's going to be put, placed at the base of the machine. So you're going to put the Lego in the hopper. Now the hopper is going to have a mesh. So anything bigger than say uh, four or five centimeters will not drop through. So large plates and all that won't come through. It'll only be the smaller pieces that I'm looking at sorting. Uh, they'll drop through, then they'll go onto a, a pivoted um, chute, which will then slowly feed them down. And then when they get to the end of that chute, they'll drop into another little chute, which will also slow the slow the um, slow the pieces down. So when it gets to, when it gets dropped onto the actual board itself, only one piece will um, only one piece will be dropping onto the board each time and then the board the pieces will vibrate down the boards and hopefully off into their tubs. As this is initial concept, I've gone to Bunnings to buy some some side rails for it. Um, I bought some bolts to screw the to screw the sorters onto the the, the main board and I've got this old piece of pine that I had from home that is going to be used for my hopper and I've got this old pallet from work I've got this old pallet from work don't know if you can see it so I've got this old pallet from work and this I'm going to be cutting out my two uh, sorters and the bases for the, the shoots that I need so it is still only like six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, so I can't start this yet. Um, I need to get a circular saw and I need to also get a, a drop saw to make my cuts nice and smooth my and to make it all look nice. Yeah. The machine, um, hopefully it's gonna work, but um, because it's, yeah, because it's only very, very basic initial stages, I've got everything I need here apart from the vibrating motor and I've got everything here and I've gone to Bunnings and I've paid about $37 um, at the moment, $37, $38 for what you see. The most expensive part was this which was $12 and then these, were, these two were eight and then the butts and uh, the bolts and nuts and washers together was about was about 60 so yeah so um, until it gets a bit later I'm gonna go back into sorting some more Lego so I'm gonna clean this up and I'm going to uh, make another video soon when I start to build I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in short build videos so um, so yeah, the, so the videos aren't too long and people can track my progress. So stage one will be hopefully getting the two, the next video will hopefully be getting the two, um, two sorting arms, the, 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 the shoot, the Lego shoot and the what's the name fixed. Now the vibrating motor, because I don't really want to go and spend any money um, and I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible I'm gonna look for on Facebook I'm gonna look for like one of the vibrating platforms that people stand on for exercise if I can get one of them I can just cut the arms off and put put the vibrator uh, put the vibrating table on top of it and then that'll vibrate it off and just just secure it to the, the vibrating table then it'll be a very easy, easy build. So um, I've, I'm keeping an eye out for one of them. Um, and 
today is hard rubbish around our area so this weekend I'm going to go for a quick drive around hard rubbish to see if there's any of those vibrating platforms sitting out and also checking for Lego people throw away Lego like you wouldn't believe yesterday I went to the thrift shop again and I was talking to one of the guys there and he said the amount of Lego that he sees come through but as a staff member they're not able to save it for themselves which is fair but he said so many there's so many people that resell stuff and it goes just like that it doesn't last on the shelf long so and he said some very nice sets have come through still some still brand new in box and yeah so if you live in Australia and the Melbourne area and you ever watch this if you want to get rid of your Lego send me a ma message I'd be willing to come and pick it up Thanks very much for watching and see you on the next stage video. Bye for now.